L.A. County officials were back on the stand today in the trial over the photos that were taken at the helicopter crash site where Kobe Bryant and others were killed. Two deputies admitting that they shared photos of the site to others that weren't even involved in the investigation. NBC 4's John Caddis Klimek has more on today's court session. Day five of testimony at the federal courthouse, attorneys telling jurors to pay close attention to body language in surveillance video of the exact moment that ultimately set this case into motion. L.A. County Sheriff Deputy Joey Cruz back on the stand watching himself in surveillance video from the Norwalk bar where two days after he was on scene of the crash that killed Kobe Bryant and eight others, he admits to showing graphic photos from the site with a bartender. Jurors have to use their five senses. They have to rely on all their God-given senses to interpret what that video shows. Vance Owen is a legal analyst following the case. The video shows the bartender pulling away from the screen, maybe grimacing, uh, as if he had just seen something that wasn't palatable or wasn't something maybe he didn't expect to see or didn't want to see. Also testifying today, Deputy Michael Russell, who manned a checkpoint at the command post the day of the crash. He told the jury the following morning, while playing the single shooter video game Call of Duty, he shared three to four photos from the crash site with a Santa Clarita station deputy who was not part of the investigation. The attorney for Michael Chester, whose wife and daughter were killed in the crash and who combined his case with Vanessa Bryant's against the county, pointed out to the jury that Deputy Russell received no disciplinary action, no suspension, and no loss of pay. It's a theme the plaintiff's attorneys have labored on over the last five days of testimony. What the plaintiffs are pointing out is that the internal investigation of the sheriff's department does not have appropriate protocols for handling a situation like this, for punishing their officers if they do cross some type of an ethical boundary, such as revealing these photos and invading the privacy of someone in the way they were done here. At issue is the sharing of the crash scene photos, and the plaintiffs worry the photos could one day be shared online. It's a hypothetical. L.A. County had tried to get thrown out of court because there's been no proof that the photos ever left the county's property. It's clear to me that she has brought this claim on, on a basis of principle. She believes that photographs of this nature and of this ilk should be private and should be made part of the investigation until that investigation is complete. Testimony resumes once again tomorrow. Back on the stand, one of the deputies who worked for the Sheriff Information Bureau, who's alleged to have tried to cover up the complaint that was initially filed with the department. Reporting in downtown L.A., the federal courthouse, I'm John Kennedy's Klimak, NBC4 News.